Hello, it's uh, John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 7th of February and I'm covering again Apple. I make no apologies for covering Apple so extensively. This is the uh, probably the number one share that's held by almost everybody in the investing community. Um, and I think uh, it uh, whatever happens to Apple will determine uh, a lot of what happens in the rest of the market. Uh, but I think from a te technical point of view, this is very important uh, place we're at now. We're round about here. Uh, this is the all time high uh, back in early January at 184. We've had a clear five wave move down here that indicates a change of trend. That is a change from up to down. Uh, because any time you have a five, a, a valid five wave move off an all time high, that usually indicates a change in trend. It could be a minor change in trend, but uh, it very rarely um, stops uh, at this, uh, at the one low here. And that's exactly what we found. We have an ABC textbook bounce in wave two. And we have another one, two, three, four, five waves down in a brand new wave one off of this um, this higher uh, factor, a uh, wave two high here. So that's one of two. The rally has been quite interesting because it stopped here at the 76% level of that decline. That is uh, usually what I consider my last chance saloon for a bearish stance. Any surge above that level up into here would have cancelled out my bearish picture, but it happened to hold last week. And the, uh, the earnings announcement uh, was on the face of it extremely bullish. But what happened to the shares? Did they poke well above here? No, they did not. I think that is a very telling sign that uh, the the profit taking decline down here uh, is a straw in the wind, I believe. And uh, the odds have now turned to uh, a move lower in a wave three of three. And if that's true, if this this low here gets broken, I can see a very rapid uh, decline down to this level here again and beyond. So Apple has to prove to me that it is still in a bull mood uh, by moving up into here, say around the 180. If it cannot manage that, I think it's destined to move lower with the general market. And uh, I, I do cover Bitcoin. Um, it's, a, uh, it's been swinging absolutely magnificently if you're a short term trader. This is the weekly chart, by the way. But what I noticed uh, when I joined these two highs here, uh, drew a line there and and brought it down here and a parallel line when I put it through um, this point here. Um, I did this actually when the when the market was up around here. Uh, that parallel line enabled me to forecast that area there as a major target. That's exactly what happened. It came down to meet that line and now it's up around here. It's bouncing off it. Uh, I don't think it's in a major bull market. It has. I think it's going to uh, turn lower um, from these levels here. But uh, as you know, I'm using Bitcoin as a measure of speculative fervor in financial markets. Now here is a very interesting investment here. This is a, a fund uh, which is bearish the dollar. I happen to believe that this represents a major, major low, um, not an all time low, because this is an ABC correction off a much larger pattern that started way back here. <clears throat> I have been looking for a major turn in the dollar, which has been extremely bullish. Uh, as you can see here, the bearish funds have been losing money, but I think their time has come. And I think uh, this is a major uh, opportunity. Here is a huge momentum divergence at that low there. 
I think that is telling me in no uncertain terms that the dollar wants to decline. And with the sentiment, bullish sentiment in the dollar at an all time high, there, I think the move will be extremely rapid up to my target here. That's my first target and my secondary target is up here. And I think it's got even further potential way off the scale here. So I think this uh, is a magnificent opportunity to ride the next dollar bear.